Hi, I'm uh, Sri Ram Ganapati, and this is Siddharth Mani uh, from KSM Architecture. KSM, we began the firm in uh, December 1990. Our philosophy or, you know, work ethic was bordered on keeping things simple. So we decided that we need to choose a piece of land which is in a place in the city which is well connected in future so people can come there easily, go out easily and uh, you don't have to be driving there at all times. So um, our site is about 4,000 square foot plot of land and the orientation of this this parcel of land actually is facing the northern direction. The road is on the eastern side. So we have a road adjoining our plot on the eastern side. And we also have a road that sort of leads further east on the sort of northeast corner of our site. Within our site, we actually have one tree in front, one main tree. We also have a mango tree located on the rear of the site and two fairly young, one neem tree and one mango tree located on the northern part of the site. Every time you have a kind of a street junction, like this, it's very popular to have a, a temple. So a temple was located at exactly that street junction, pointing towards the, the crosswords. So it is very important from the people who have already been living on the street that this temple be retained because obviously it has cultural value and it is located within our plot so we are very keen that we would sort of maintain and keep that temple so this main road sort of leads to Mount Road, the most popular spine of the city this road that goes to the far end also leads off to Mount Road once again we have got a, a bank we have a hotel we have a few houses located here our immediate neighbour also is a house. So in terms of uh, the architectural sort of expression and language, we were sort of looking at a large volume container as sort of being the, the space that sort of is being contained within the site. So in terms of this container, we were very keen that uh, the spaces are very transparent, very open from within, a space that sort of improves your level of interaction from one space to another. So the first space uh, sort of when you arrive on the street, the the way in which the, the gate has been treated in terms of you used Shera board as a, as a material and sort of this whole gate folds and opens sort of interacting with the street. We've sort of used a set of murals and drawings on the gate face. Enter the site by the side of the temple you're sort of greeted by a very, very small kind of a landscape space right behind the temple. So that's a small little kind of a landscape space. So the first thing you sort of greeted by is that when you sort of enter, you have this ramp kind of a structure that sort of leads you up all the way to enter the building from this particular corner into a large volume, what we call semi-public space. We won't call it a reception space as such. So you start entering the inner space which is where you start getting that large cathedral like feel and if you were to sort of uh, see how all the spaces are organized within broadly it's basically a large volume container wherein you've got different levels all dotted all over creating a sense of you know space flowing from one space to another creating a lot of kind of interaction. Start seeing that there are rooms completely glazed on one side, which is where the cabins are located. You start seeing that there are studios located at the upper level where you've got people working. You've got a space below where you've got another set of studio uh, workstations where people are working. All of that, all this interaction happens through one space which is this space in between. This space is basically a 1.65 wide, this is only about 1.65 meters wide, is a cutout that goes through and through the building. 
So in terms of uh, a broad organization, if you look at it, like I said, cabins all on one side. We have workstations at the upper level, upper studio, and the lower studio on one side. The basement is more like a workshop kind of a space. Southeastern side, we have got a only closed room in the whole office, which is a conference room. So apart from that, on the upper level above the cabins, we've also got a library space, which is the uppermost level, which is where the final roof culminates. So this is basically that space. If you look at in terms of how we have wrapped the whole building around, what we've also got is we've got a kind of a veranda space on the southern side. And that veranda space is sort of held by a bamboo screen which allows people to sort of exit at par at the upper level, allowing them to climb up a set of stairs. Now, this overall envelope, obviously from an environmental angle, is very particular that the amount of heat gain be reduced to a great extent. In terms of how we have architecturally challenged ourselves to, to do that has been different in different sections. So, the overall roof if you look at it, is a 450 mm thick polyfill slab. So it's basically concrete of 100 millimeters on top with a, a polyfill membrane, polyfill structure on the inside and a lower concrete of another 100 millimeters, giving an overall thickness of 0.45 meter. So the overall slab on top is highly insulating. So what ends up happening is any amount of, you know, the direct heat from the sun is all sort of cannot be absorbed because the polyfill in itself is a thermocorganic material. There's not a lot of transmission of any of this heat directly into the space. Within this polyfill slab, we've also opened small apertures which are sort of trapezoidal in shape. And these trapezoidal openings sort of have a very small aperture opening on top. And from that aperture, we sort of reflect the light, bouncing it off the sides and transmit that light as much as we can into this central volume. So what it does is this light for sort of filters and finds its way all the way to the bottom most, the deepest portions of the, of the building. Therefore making every, even though this is a real basement, all portions of this office are always bathed in natural light. So for the southern side, which is where our prevailing wind direction is in Chennai, we have pop open wind catchers which are basically mechanically operated wind catchers that open up depending on when the sea breeze the, uh, the prevailing wind direction sort of sets in and we are also funneling that breeze completely into the open office space. So by doing this what we have done is we have very few openings in the western side and all the sunlight that actually hits this just allows this creeper to grow very well and it completely shades the complete western wall, providing us passive solar protection on the west. We, our building actually puts our practice in a kind of a nutshell. It says this is what we believe in and this is what we are. And hopefully for the next 25 years, we would, this building would, be the, uh, would the, be the example of the way KSM does its work.